In the bustling city of Magadha, people from all over had gathered to listen to the wise words of Lord Buddha. They hung on his every word and soaked in his teachings, feeling grateful for the opportunity to learn from such a great master. After a few days, the Buddha announced that it was time for him to move on to the next city. The townspeople were saddened by the news and begged him to stay a few more days, but he politely declined, apologizing for any inconvenience he may have caused. As a token of their appreciation, the townspeople wanted to offer something to the Buddha. The next day, as he sat on his seat, they began presenting their gifts. Each gift was more extravagant than the last, and the Buddha's disciples dutifully collected and set them aside. Just then, a poor old woman came forward and placed a half-eaten mango at the feet of the Buddha. She said, Lord, I have nothing to offer except this mango. It is my whole world, and I offer it to you with all my heart. The Buddha picked up the mango with great love and care. The townspeople were confused and asked why he would choose such a simple gift over their precious offerings. The Buddha smiled and said, This old woman gave from the depths of her heart without any thought of reward or recognition. She gave all that she had, while you offered only a part of your wealth with ego and pride. The difference between her offering and yours is the difference between ego and faith. This story teaches us the importance of giving with reverence and sincerity. When we give from the depths of our heart, without expecting anything in return, we satisfy the soul of both the giver and the receiver. On the other hand, when we give with pride and ego, we only satisfy our need for recognition and validation. We can apply this lesson in our day-to-day -day activities by practicing mindful giving. Whether it's donating to a charity or helping someone in need, we should do it with sincerity and humility. We should give from a place of love and compassion, without expecting anything in return. As the Buddha once said, Thousands of candles can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared.